Hi, I'm Justin from Gazelle Automations. I made a little love letter to Star Trek The Next Generation in the style of a 1970s animated cartoon. If you want to check it out, you can watch it here. The style of economical film animation has always fascinated me. I just like how there's something very quirky about it. So the first time I tried doing this was uh, when I was making a student film years ago and I made a 1960s Spider-Man-esque knockoff thing that the characters in the movie were watching. Ha 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 ha, how's that? For this next generation animated thing, I wanted it to look as 1970s-y and filmation-y as possible. Uh, usually when I'm doing animation jobs, I'd use something like Toon Boom or Adobe Animate, uh, previously known as Flash. Sometimes I use After Effects with uh, a third-party plugin called Duik, which is fantastic for doing IK rigging. For this, I just ended up drawing the cells uh, one at a time in Photoshop um, with a Wacom tablet. So it isn't actually, obviously, pencil, paper, then cells with ink and paint, but the intent was to make it look as close to that as possible, so Photoshop was catching all my you know, if my hand wobbled a little bit or if I had to go over a line several times. Definitely wasn't the most efficient way to go about doing this, but because I really didn't want it to look like symbol animation, you know, when you have a piece of artwork and you're kind of interpolating it from two different places, I just really wanted it to look like it had been drawn completely by hand, one cell at a time. Painting the backgrounds is probably the trickiest part of this because I really wanted it to be an artist's interpretation of the Enterprise-D bridge. And that overhead shot, like the, which I don't think ever happened in the original Next Gen... I can't talk. I knew I had to have the, uh, the elevator, the turbo lift door at the back behind um, Captain Picard. It had to be um, open by accident because that, of course, was a goof that they made many times on the 1970s uh, animated cartoon. When the animation was sequenced, I added dirt and smudges, uh, you know, because when they would photograph all these cells against backgrounds on the animation stand, people would be touching the cells, and I can only assume there was, uh, you know, cigarette ash in the room just getting on the cells, that's what I imagine anyway. So I added all that stuff. One of the um, elements was actually just a picture of the dirt on this window. Some of this dirt was obviously animated so that it would kind of simulate when the, um, where they take one cell off and put another one on, maybe some dirt would get introduced or removed. As a last step on top of everything, a good dose of 35 millimeter film grain was added. Oh, uh, in the original sequence in The Next Generation when Picard is abducted, uh, the two officers at the front of the bridge are not actually um, Wesley and Data. I was surprised to see it was two background extras that I'd forgotten about. And I originally did draw some version of them to sit there, but at the 11th hour, I realized that this is animation, and of course in a, in a 70s Star Trek cartoon, one of them should be some kind of alien that's only really um, doable in animated form, so I replaced the helm officer with a Gazinti. Star Trek has had a huge influence on us here at Gazelle Automations, both uh, from a philosophical and storytelling point of view, and definitely from an art and design perspective. Uh, viewers who've seen our new TVO kids series, Meekshi, might have noticed that the little pocket-sized gizmo that she carries around, that multi-tool thing, has a little bit of a design influence from Hua Chang's uh, TOS communicator design, especially this kind of metallic edge and the shape of the, the bottom like this and the way it kind of fits in your hand. This is what I referenced when I designed that. So there's probably dozens of other examples of um, Star Trek seeping into my brain without me even realizing. Thanks so much for watching this little behind the scenes video. And now, Will Wheaton, this is for you. Take us out of orbit, Ensign Crusher. Breaking synchronous orbit, sir. Set course for the Epsilon Sector, warp five. Course and speed set, sir. Engage.